just want to mention again the training requirement in addition to the sexual harassment policy requirement it the laws took effect in 2018 requiring annual training by october 9th of 2019 again that was not a one-time thing that is every year what the year is you have some flexibility it could be calendar year it could be employee anniversary date or it could be something else as long as somehow or another it's a year so for example if you did your first training on october 9th and want to then make sure you do training every year by october 9th then that could be the year you use the calendar year is the simplest but you have some discretion there's no specific time period for training new employees but you do have to give new employees a copy of your sexual harassment policy at a minimum and the state encourages training as well as soon as possible I want to point out new york city has online training that you can have your employees complete that would satisfy the new york state requirements with the caveat that new york state just updated all of its training materials they have model training materials i don't think the new york city training program has been updated based on the new model state sexual harassment policy when you do this training each year and if at the beginning of employment or other times you have to give employees a copy of the sexual harassment prevention policy at each training session which in essence means that you have to redistribute your sexual harassment prevention policy annually so if you haven't updated it based on a new model policy or there's now something you want to update based on something you heard in this presentation maybe the first question to ask is have we done our training yet this year if not that might be the time to change out your policy because you're going to have to give it to employees at that point too there is the model training uh, materials and they have been updated online there's even videos that you could have employees listen to um, whatever you do you have to give employees a written copy of the information so if there's a powerpoint they need to get the slides if there are handouts worksheets they have to get all of those in addition to the copy of the policy my only other note there is there are foreign language versions of the training as well and you do want to consider giving employees training in languages that they will understand at least but only the english version so far has a new video training from new york state the others are still the 2018 versions